Good morning, River City Live. Welcome to River City Plus, the show after the show, the River City After Party. One great thing about our show is that every day you get to wake up and make a choice. And today I choose violence. Her face <laughs> says it all, y'all. Her face. I'm like looking at you. You were like tight, tight. All right, I'll break it down. So I was trolling around on Instagram, and uh, I rolled up on this thing. It was a post. The Good Wife's Guide from, uh, this is from Housekeeping Monthly, May 13th, ni- May 13th, 1955. So it's old. It's and old. And when we get into the back and forth, you will see how antiquated it is. Yes. So. so before we jump in, um, <laughs> Ryan, if you would kindly, um, Earlier in the week, we talked about this had surfaced. It was 129 ways to get a husband. So it was like a quick snapshot, and it was talking about all these different things, like go stand outside an engineering building, volunteer for jury duty, (laughs) all these asinine ways. This was just an excerpt, but this was also, um, you know, kind of from like back in the day. What was it, 52, something like that? Yeah. And so now we i just think it's funny that the algorithm decided that this is what we're into discussing and you know what the robots weren't wrong so rance found this one and we're just bringing the full circle around here but this one is rage inducing all right so we're just gonna hit it and riff on a couple of the big ones but number one have dinner ready so uh, plan ahead even the night before to have a delicious meal ready on time for his return from work That is a way of letting him know that you have been thinking about him and are concerned about his needs. I, I'm not even going to beef with (laughs) dinner. You know what? Like, I think that's great. Every, every, but pair has their own thing every night, wait, wait, wait. but every night. So I had a friend and she was talking about a guy she started dating and, uh, once they finally kind of got into the nuts and bolts of what they wanted, he was like, I need you to have dinner ready for me every night. That's just something I need to, uh, you know, feel like a man. And I'm just like, so I'm listening to this. I'm like, hmm, I'm going to stay out of it. But we don't live in that world where, mo- I mean, most everybody are two income houses. Everybody's working jobs. So uh, who's doing that? And and listen, if that is something that you two mutually decide or she offers and she's like, hey, you're doing this. I enjoy cooking. I will take care of this. I'm fine with that. It is it is the fact that this was like an expectation and that this is what makes you a good wife. Nowhere on this page does it says like don't cheat on his sorry behind. It says like make sure that pork roast is ready, sugar lumps. Like that's what I don't like. Which one has really got you up in arms? So the one that sent me through the roof before we even came on air was that don't ask him questions about his actions. Or question his judgment or integrity. Remember, (laughs) he is the master of the house and as such will always exercise fairness, truthfulness. You have no right to question him. (laughs) But Jana, (laughs) you are a Southern belle. Isn't that what they taught Southern gentility back in the day? Not in Jan Angel's household. I know, I w- but no, I'm talking about not even your house. But the- oh, I said my mother will come through this camera right now. <laughs> he didn't mean you, mom. Obviously, I didn't. My I mother really raised mean- me to question everything and everyone. <laughs> I just wanted to poke and the to bear call a little her. bit. <laughs> so don't question his a- actions I mean, and his are you judgment is everything. No, like absolutely not. In no land. Like, I don't, I don't care what you're bringing up. First of all, you lost me. My cheeks are hot. The master of this house. <laughs> I wish a man would stomp through the threshold and say, don't question me or my judgment or integrity. Like, I, uh, like this is what you're feeding women? Are you kidding <laughs> in me? In the 50s, that was the thing. I mean, a Percocet and a martini is not enough to take down that advice. <laughs> all right, so here's one. Rance is like, bring it down, bring it down. <laughs> so here's one. Uh, listen to him. You may have a dozen important things to tell him, but the moment of his arrival is not the time. Let him talk first or remember his topics of conversation that are, are more important than yours. Addendum add on. Don't greet him with complaints and problems. Let him come in. Uh, don't complain if he's late for dinner. If he, even if he stays out all night, what? Oh, so, but, uh, I'm just going, Chris Rock had a bit where, uh, 
he was like, you know, when I come home from work, can I just come home, relax for a minute before, you know, you tell me about Janet from the office pool doing you dirty. And so that part I can get, but don't complain if he's late for dinner. And even if he stays out all night, Mm. Not today. <laughs> not today, Satan. Not today. I do get the decompression thing because, like, I get it. When you're transitioning into your home, like, I get everyone needs to decompress. I don't have a problem with that. The whole, like, but my com conversation is more important than yours, Janice. So let me mansplain everything. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring that to uh, arrange his pillows and take off his shoes. I will smother him with the pillow. And beat him with his shoes. Better yet, I'd snatch his arm off and beat that, beat him with that. Oh, well, this is awesome. Uh, during the cooler months of the year, you should prepare <laughs> and light a fire for him to unwind by. Uh, your husband will feel he has reached a haven of rest and order. And it will give you a little lift, too. After all, catering to his comfort will provide you with immense <laughs> personal satisfaction. I, 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 I can't even process it. I mean, I, I, I could, like, I want to debate, but it's like, I can't even relate because there's nothing to debate. Plus, I want to make sure I have some friends on the other, female friends on the other side of this conversation. But I mean, I can't wrap my mind around, this is what things, but that just goes to show the, how society has evolved for the most part. Uh, right. through the decades, at least here in American society and stuff like that. But, you know, we, many of us are, have evolved to the point where we're like, we are partners. We acknowledge our equality as, in a relationship and a partner. Because, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, a good relationship is a partnership, yeah? Right, absolutely. And I actually, I, I like the idea behind doting on someone that you care about, making them feel at home, giving them that attention. I don't like the fact that everything is centered on that is your fulfillment. Like mm -hmm. you creating happiness for this other person is the only way to make you feel fulfilled. That's that is the rub. Listen, if you want to if you're if you're a boy scout and you want to build this man a fire and make him a pot roast mm -hmm. like go on pioneer girl <laughs> like preach on sister, go for it. <clears throat> it ain't me. Don't call me. Yeah. Call somebody else. Um but if those are your things and that's the way you show love, great. Like if acts of service are the way you show love, I think that's great. My issue with that is like you creating happiness for someone else can't be the only way that you generate happiness. Well, you can tell the reality is only you can make yourself happy. It shouldn't be up to somebody else to fulfill those needs. Now, I want to give a shout out to a couple that friends of the show that if you see them, it's such an unorthodox pairing their relationship, but there's so much love in it. And we've hung out with them in many situations. Uh, this dude, we know, uh, Brian and his wife Don. It's like I watch those two, and I'm like, that's some relationship hashtag relationship goals. Because I mean, they do everything together and actually enjoy each other's company. I mm -hmm. mean, they have some days, everybody does, everybody but does, they yeah. always bring it full circle, and it's like a true partnership. And I'm like, you know what? <sighs> yeah, I, I, I hate to give him his flowers, but yeah, you, you should have flowers. You cool, you cool man. You cool, should man. have flowers. I just want to know, like, was there like an Esquire article that ever partnered this where it was like, how to be a good husband? Like, I, no. I'm going to start talking about how people can be good husbands from the 1950s just because I'm going to go ahead and plot this in my robot. Well, in the 50s, all he robot. had to do was go to work, make the money. I mean, I never watched Mad Men, but right I, back I got in the, the day, premise. it was like, oh, he didn't sleep with his 20 year old secretary. Yeah, what so a babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dan is feeling some type of way. I I am like and he, so here's uh, another couple that I think are just kind of like funny. Um, you know, one one is again bringing his attitude. Be a little gay and a little more interesting for him. His boring day may need a lift, and one of your duties is to provide it. <laughs> Bring me joy. Bring me joy. Yeah. I'll be a little gay. I'll make it a little more interesting. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. You know, you want the razzle, I'll bring you the dazzle. That's perk up the 50s real quick. Make that announcement. Stay in the abstract. <laughs> it's River City Plus. I'm, I'm extracting from the abstract. Uh, prepare yourself. Take 15 minutes to rest so you'll be refreshed when he arrives. Some of these are loaded, too. It's like so... I mean... I mean, the way my mind goes, and um, 
minimize all noise. Now that one, I could see if like you got some toddlers, like when he comes home. I'm, I'm just saying, when you got toddlers and whoever, even if it's uh, she's been working and he's home first, like minimize the noise. It's like you're coming in hot, kids. Let mom, dad relax a little bit before we get into anything. But all right, so we're gonna post this on our Facebook mm -hmm. page and see if you guys have any response. And <laughs> I mean, we'd love to hear your commentary. So we got to run. So tomorrow we're gonna bring it full. Even even full circle because there is a rebuttal there is uh, a good wife always knows her place that's not the rebuttal but janice got something for that tomorrow but we're going to be doing that tomorrow so make sure you tune in for that and uh we'll re re uh throw up any comments you guys have so 10 15 river city plus for this uh relationship goals and then 9 30 for river city live, live. <laughs>